so we're going to be showing you the latest download content for Borderlands. It's called The Secret Armory of General Knox. And uh, we're really excited about this DLC pack because it is continuing the storyline of Borderlands. Um, in the Zombie Island pack, we kind of uh, told a little side story, and Moxie was really about this challenge, uh, the arena challenge modes. And so now we're getting back to the main plot of Borderlands and uh, telling the next chapter of that story. Um, this is a, a little view of the new region. Uh, the region that you're going to explore is all new levels and it's called the Parched Fathoms. And the story behind this area is that it used to be a, um, an, a lake that uh, as Pandora's climate changed and the planet started to dry up, all the water is gone but uh, all of the town and highways were built prior to that happening, so they're all sort of elevated up high. And this town is called T-Bone Junction. So we're going to head on out into the town. You start the download content in this, uh, this sort of bus station in Pandora terms, which is actually where you would fast travel from. So we'll head on out into town. So this is T-Bone Junction. This is our new uh, main hub of uh, the download content. It's uh, a very vehicle-oriented download content pack. Uh, vehicles play a large role. Um, and we're excited to provide two uh, brand new vehicle, drivable vehicles to players. Um, we've also brought back a lot of uh, fan favorite characters. It's, for example, Scooter is back. He's got a garage here in town. Uh, Marcus, the uh, weapons dealer, is back. And we've also taken Moxie from DLC 2 and she's now part of the story. So right now what we're doing is uh, Scooter has asked us to uh, help him finish building one of the new vehicles. It's called the Monster and he's, uh, he's got to finish the, um, the afterburner system and he needs a few more parts and right now we've we've found the supercharger and we have found the uh, exhaust pipe but now we need to get this nitrous tank so we're gonna hunt around the town here and find the nitrous tank for the new vehicle so one of the things that we're uh, we're excited about and, and have pushed a bit here compared to um, earlier uh, download content and stuff that we could do in the main game is that uh, the town here is a lot more vibrant, it's a lot more alive, it's got a lot more flavor to it. Um, we spend a lot of time adding a lot more signage and, and giving everything a lot more sense of purpose and place. We've got something incoming here. It looks like the Crimson Lance has found us. So this is one of the new enemies. This is one of the new enemies for the download content pack. These are the Lance Assassins. As you can see, they're very fast and acrobatic, and you got to work to get your uh, get your shots in on them. Oh, I'm getting torn up here. That was the first. The Omegas are relentless and highly trained. The elites in it. The only advantage you have is that their top operative recently left their employ. Stay alert. Athena out. So, uh, we just heard from one of the new characters in the download content. Her name is Athena. And um, she used to be part of the Crimson Lance, but has now um, gone AWOL and is trying to help you. The, uh, the overview of the plot is that after you had uh, destroyed the vault, um, you would also, in the process of that, destroy the Atlas and the Crimson Lance's uh, garrison that was on Pandora to protect the alien technology. Um, so now the Crimson Lance and Atlas are coming back and they need to get control of the planet to make sure that none of the other manufacturers get a hold of their um, of the alien technology. And not only are they, they're coming back in force, they're stockpiling their weapons in the secret armory and uh, they've decided that the reason they have to come back for this is because of you, because of the player characters. So they've also put out this hit on you. And there's wanted posters all throughout the town 
for our heroes. Um, and Athena has just told us about these, uh, that these assassins will be coming for us. All right, so we found our nitrous tank. We're gonna head on back down the hill to Scooter's Garage and uh, try out a new vehicle. Um, there are three new vehicles actually, one of which is sort of a, a remix of the runner. It's sort of a souped up stunt version of the runner with, uh, with new, um, new capabilities and faster speed and all those sorts of things. All right, so Scooter needs needs a hand because uh, the Lance sort of roughed him up trying to find out where Athena was. So here's the monster, sort of this six-wheeled off-road vehicle. Oh, wait. Hey, she a monster. Just got to hack the specs into the digital truck module so my uh -huh, uh -huh. catch a ride can build these bad boys for you. Get that switch over there. Hello, Marcos here. All right. As you can see, um, the NPCs have got a little bit more, um, a little bit more expression this time. They're animating. They've got some lip syncing, and we're uh, we're excited that we can push push that further and bring a little bit more life to to some of the characters in our world. All right, so we've uh, we're now uploading the specs into uh, Scooter's Catch a Ride system. So this sort of shows how how he takes his vehicles and gets them into the uh, into the system that can spawn them throughout the world. Sort of does a digital scan and then sort of eliminates and digitizes the vehicle at the same time. All right, so now we got to try to head out to, uh, to Moxie. Moxie, or Athena is hanging out with Moxie and so we need to catch up with her out there. And we're going to take the new vehicle out for a spin. All of the new vehicles um, have new, uh, you know, have been retuned and have new handling and all that sort of thing. Those crimson D-bags set up some roadblocks in the highway. Just get your murder on and we'll pretend nobody saw nothing. All right, so Scooter has told us that there's, uh, it's not going to be an easy ride. There's, the Crimson Lance has taken control over the of the highway.